day three of 2023. Half the day has gone. It's lunchtime now and this is the morning walk. But it's all good, plenty of time. So today's plan is to head to what, I, what as far as I can see, the only uh, Morris Minor-ish, specialist-ish, parts place-ish in the West Midlands. And it's over in Oldbury, junction two of the M5, which isn't far from mine. So we're gonna head down there today. And it's the brakes that are currently the problem. Everything else is cool. But I've had a few, few sticky moments with the uh, driver's side brake, front, and uh, it's grabbing, it's diving, it's doing all kinds. So time to start again with all that, because I did top up the brake fluid. I haven't bled any air yet, but by doing that, it kind of, now I can hear the shoes scraping in the wheel. So I take it, all the, uh, all the shoes are worn down. So I'm gonna buy a load big kit for that. And just see what else there is at this place. Because apparently like they've been a parts place for years and years and years. And uh, they used to do repairs, stopped doing that, just turned into one of the most comprehensive parts desks in the area. So I'm just gonna see what I haven't even thought about as far as what do I need for the car. Um, yeah, so that should be exciting. And you're gonna come along with me and I'm gonna do it in the camper van, which I have just repaired. Let's not forget that Joan the Morris Miner from 1966 is older than Spaghetti Junction and half the motorways. Hey, impressive. So when you look back in the channel, wink, wink, and look at the GEC, Brookvale, Witten Lakes videos, all that, but mainly the GEC and the Magnet Centre, all those roads surrounding this place before this was here, which we have photos of. Um, that is the road that little Joan was dealing with back in the day. Probably this road, which went over to the, uh, the GEC, didn't it? From the Magnet Centre. But yeah, little fact for you. Sorry if you're new to the channel and you're just here for the, the Morris Minor stuff. But hopefully you're going to tag along and get right stuck into my local area's history for no reason at all. Alrighty, you join me on the uh, M5 heading to Junction 2 to go visit this bloody Morris Minor Parts place, which I think is open. Google says it's open. Uh, the pictures on Google don't look too open, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we're here, Junction 2. So that was a pleasant drive. All good. This van is fixed and sorted for a bit. Oh, I'm at the wrong one. This is Junction 1. <laughs> Back on the motorway then. Bloody hell. Yeah, I need to get off a of junction two. Um, but yeah, I've come off a of junction one. Well, it's from, here's some history for you. That used to be a mansion. I forgot what it was called now. Sandwell? Sandwell Hot Mansion? But yeah, this all used to be fields back in the day. This will be down here, I believe. And hopefully I can just cut across this traffic. Oh yeah, boy, this works. Oh, we're coming across in here. So, it is davidmanners.co.uk is what it says all over the building. I believe they do plenty of different classic car parts. Oh, I need an alternator belt. That's another one. So here you go, can you see davidmanners.co.uk? parts for MGs and TRs and Daimlers and Jaguars and Morris Miners. We've got some nice cars here. I feel very at home underneath another bit of motorway flyover. So happy days. Going to have a fag and then yeah let's go shopping. How exciting. He's just there. Yeah, but the van drives absolutely beautifully, quite happy. And shout out to Dennis who sorted the brakes out just during, I took it in for an MOT. The MOT is my birthday, which is bloody annoying. Never used to be, thanks COVID. Um, but yeah, we, uh, whilst he was there, I said just if anything needs doing, because I had no time last year to get anything done, because it was busy. So um, 
Yeah, he, he sorted the brakes out. He said there was some kind of clip missing or seized and he sorted it. And now it brakes like a fucking brand new van. And now it accelerates like a brand new van. So now it feels like a brand new van. Anyway, this video isn't about Volkswagen T4s. It's about Morris Viners again. So, um, see you in a second. We'll have a little shop Bad about news. Um, I don't know what happened if this is COVID regs or just lack of staff. It was a really cool place. But um, you have to call them for your parts. It's not a shop anymore. So you have to call and collect and give them an hour. So that's my plan, Spuggard. Look like a good place. Well, well disappointing. <laughs> so we're going to try some uh, just normal motor spares place in Erdington and see how we get on. But not holding my breath now. Seems really hard to get brake shoes online as well. You know, car parts don't look like they're like that interested, but I can always pop in and ask. What a waste of bloody time. Um, yeah, so onwards, I guess. That is pants, no way. Why would you come? Oh, God, never mind. Right, anyway, on with the journey. We're gonna head back to the motorway head to Erdington, um, yeah, get some other bits and bobs hopefully, maybe just get a horn, bugger at least it's something, want to get something done today, damn it, I've got probably a week left <coughs> of free time to actually get anything nailed down until I'm back to tinkering on the weekends, which you know, I don't like. But hey, it's only January, what is it, the 3rd? No, it's the 4th, the 3rd, it's the 4th. I think it's the 3rd. Oh, it's closed. This has been a day, hasn't it? For God's sake. So this is uh, 2023 off to a flying start where nothing's actually real. You can't shop anywhere, really. And uh, please don't shop online and close down your high street, but also that's your only option. So I'm not sure where else to go. I just want to buy a horn now. I've probably like drawn back my plans and uh, still can't achieve them. So gonna have a little Google and see what I can find. All went absolutely horrifically, really, as far as buying parts for the Morris goes. And that was today's plan. But actually I think I did all right in the end. I popped into Halfords and I've popped into the range. You know what, the range, a lot, much cheaper than Alfred's are like the little bits and bobs, like electrical adapters and stuff like that. But anyway, I'll show you what I did find. Um, give him both of the vehicles. There's Hugo. Uh, a bit of a birthday, Christmas, happy new year today. <laughs> My garage is so bloody wet, it takes the piss. But there you go, he's fine. Um, won't be having its brakes done today, unfortunately, but have bought things to get the ball rolling when I finally have the brake shoes. Are you ready? So, this was here. This is already here. I don't worry about that. But, so it's about time. Scrapers, one for the van, one for the car. Why not? Finally, a multimeter. Gonna learn how to use it properly. Done basic kind of uh, electric stuff at my old job, but nothing really that odd, like, useful. Um, deep socket sets, because we're going to be swapping out some glow plugs and bloody uh, spark plugs at some point. New hex key set, brilliant. Load of spade connectors and all kinds. Now these were, I think I got these for uh, about six quid from Halfords, but I think you can do better in, um, in the range, to be honest. This was from Halfords too. Almost was gonna just buy a normal horn, but had to go for it. Gonna fit that hopefully today in a moment. A jack which is cool, need those, and some two-ton ratchet axle stands. And apparently these are adjustable and really fancy, and they actually, they were under 30 quid. But there you go, gotta be used in a pair, up to two tons. But I reckon that's sweet, mate. Quite happy with that. And an aerial for Hugo, because look at him. You can only get Hot 92, BBC4, and Classic through that. We need more, so new thing, all good, give that a go. And I think the deep socket is gonna come in rather useful for that, so might just do that now. Oh, family's out, he's fine. 
Joan. <laughs> she, him, her. Hugo Sweet. Just needed to dry it out. Just takes the piss how bloody damp it is in here. You know, we only pay service charge every fucking month and no one does a thing about it. Good, good. But there you go. He's fine. He's fine. 17 mil on the, uh, on the aerial here. That's doing the job lovely. Almost bought a gearless ratchet from her uh, Halfords, but didn't did stick to it in the end. All right, joke sounding all right here. I don't know, sorry for flipping about. We just had a little change in tone there. It's getting there, mate. But yeah, have a little look around. I don't think you've seen everything working. So yeah, literally it's just the, um, just the brakes to do really. And um, grease all the pinion joints. Maybe change the uh, alternator belt. But yeah, pretty crazy really. But I'm gonna stick it back in the cupboard. <laughs> I think that's enough in the rain. Off. Got a bit of extension out of this, which I didn't know lived in there, but panel needs to come out or at least the inside panel to get to the actual bastard that's seized inside its little housing so not even an aerial today no horns will be fitted because it's darker than it looks but it's fucking night time um so today was a shopping trip thanks for joining um tomorrow i've got off so try again um so tomorrow is horn and order some brake shoes. Slow progress, man, I don't like it. Thanks for joining.